Hi everyone, I'm Gemma Stafford and this week on Bigger Boulder Baking I am making a chocolate lava cake bowl for two. Check it out. So for this cake bowl you're going to need a kind of a standard soup bowl, something around like 10 to 12 ounces, something that is microwavable safe. Now into this we are going to add in our cold cubed butter. Now our first step is to take this away, microwave it until it's melted. Okay, so into our melted butter we're going to add in a little splash of milk, crack in our egg and a little splash of yummy vanilla extract and then whisk all these ingredients together. So Kevin and I are actually married 10 years this year and it's been a bit of a crazy 10 years just because we actually started our business together nine years ago. So we started Bigger Boulder Baking together, we built it in this tiny little house in Santa Monica and we've been working together ever since and now we also have a toddler who is uh, three years of age. So. Um, it's been a busy 10 years, but definitely um, action-packed and eventful. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll always see pictures of Kevin and George and us out and about, and it might be something as mundane as going to Costco or like going to a park or like maybe our travels in Ireland or something like that. So those are our wet ingredients. Into this, we're going to add in our all-purpose flour, just a bit of sugar, regular unsweetened cocoa powder, a little bit of raising agent, a little bit of baking soda in here. A little bit of salt. Salt and chocolate go so well together, so you have to have a little bit of that in there. And then my secret weapon for this delicious cake bowl is espresso powder. Now, even if you don't like coffee, the chocolate and the coffee go so well together. It adds another dimension to the chocolate. It almost like seasons it and brings out all the lovely flavors. So it's a winning combo. So espresso powder, just so it dissolves straight into your ingredients. Now, with your fork, go back in and give this a mix up. I don't know if it's because I've gotten older or it's because of George, but we don't eat out as much. So when it comes to these holidays, like Valentine's Day and birthdays and things like that, we tend to eat in, like Kevin might cook and I will make the dessert or, you know, we'll make something together. So that's why I'm making this for him. It's something that we can share. He loves chocolate and he loves convenient desserts. So this ticks all those boxes. So Kevin generally makes an appearance only once a year around Valentine's Day in my videos. And a few years ago, one of my, actually one of my most favorite desserts and one of the loveliest videos as well was when I made a dessert, a tiramisu for two, and then Kevin came and joined me in that video. And that was really nice. Over the years, he's been in a few videos. We did a, a dessert charcuterie with like butterscotch sauce and everything. And we even in that video told the story of like how we met. So, uh, our, our, you know, it's kind of nice because over the years, uh, without even knowing it, our like our relationship and our journey has been um, like chronological. What's that word? Chronolo what's that word? No. The word is documented. Chronological. No, no. Chronological is an order. Has been. No. Documented. Has been recorded. Yeah, there you go. But that's not the right word. Okay, lovely. That's our batter. It's nice and smooth. Now our last step to make this super delicious and to make it lovely and lava, just like those ones that we get in restaurants, is we are going to sprinkle over some bittersweet chopped chocolate. So sprinkle that over all over the top. And then lastly, here I have a little bit of hot water. So just pour this all around the top. And you're probably wondering, what am I doing with this right now? But it's all gonna make sense when it comes out of the microwave and it's ooey and gooey. For a nice presentation, I'm just gonna wipe down the bowl because we're going to be eating out of it and follow me over to the microwave. So the beauty of cake bowls is that they're microwaved. You don't even need an oven. So here's the thing. You're going to microwave it for around a minute and a half. Then check on it. If it's a little bit jiggly in the middle, pop it in for another 20 to 30 seconds. What we're looking for is for it to be firm on top. This cake looks really great and I don't want it to cool down too much. So I'm going to top it with Kevin's favorite ice cream, which is monster cookie ice cream. Then I'm gonna sprinkle over a few raspberries on top. Okay, Kevin, come on in. Gemma. Happy Valentine's Day, beautiful. Kevin. Is this all for me? No, it's for sharing, it's for two. Oh, it's for it's two. It's in the title, okay. read the title, it says for two. It's in, it's, in, <laughs> it's in the title, I'll have to read that first next time. So, lava cake is one of my favorites. Oh, ho, ho. this is good. Jam. This is really good. Oh, the cake is super moist. I mean, as the microwave does a lot of times, but you've also got like the ooey gooey bits in the middle that are incredible. Yeah, it's like saucy, right, dig right down there into the bottom and that's where yeah. that lava is. I gotta go down there. And it's, of course, 
Always good with ice cream. Highly recommended. Oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> Sorry. This might be one of the nicest things that I ever did for you for Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, <laughs> likely. And how long did it take? It took less than two minutes in the microwave. Less than two minutes in the <laughs> microwave. So for just two minutes, mm -hmm. you can deliver quite a treat for, uh, for a special someone in your life. This is delicious. Get, get right into the middle there, see where the gooby stuff is. Yeah. That's let me, yum. Let me go for it here. Okay. Jim, thanks as always for having me uh, to be your taste tester. Thank you for <laughs> your annual <laughs> appearance in my videos. Yeah. You should come back more. Okay. We'll have you back well, more. I, I have some ideas. I actually have <laughs> some really big ideas. Is that the Kevin show? Is that the idea? Mm, no. no. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And make sure to check out some more uh, of our Valentine's videos. We have tons of Valentine's videos for you to check out right here. Yeah, so stay tuned. Bye-bye. Happy Valentine's. Oh, my full coat. <laughs>